your TV. In this video, we'll look at setting the flow restrictor for a proper waste to water ratio of your RO membrane. Why do we do this? Well, the waste water is necessary as a means of transport of the brine, which includes the bad stuff rejected by the membrane, along with some extra water that's used as a medium for carrying any solids that could calcify or foul the membrane when not in use. In some households, where they may be employing a water softener or the water is of lesser hardness, it may be possible to run at a 2 to 1 ratio, however the general recommendation is 4 to 1, which means for every 4 parts of wastewater, we get 1 part product water. Now don't get excited when setting up your system and neglect this important step. This is also a step that must be redone when relocating, swapping membranes, or when there's a significant change in pressure, for instance when adding a booster pump. After setup or membrane replacement, let the system run for about an hour, ensuring the membrane is well saturated and producing water. Collect product water into a measuring cup for one minute and record your measurement in milliliters. I got about 240. Reference your measurement to the appropriate chart in the system manual. This is a 90 gallon per day membrane with an FR90 yellow flow restrictor, so we use this chart, taking the closest number to my measurement and cut the flow restrictor to the corresponding length. So let's first remove the flow restrictor located in the waistline attached to the membrane housing and carefully remove it from the tubing. Now looking back at the chart, we need to cut this to two inches. Measuring from the tip, use a sharp razor blade and cut on a diagonal to the desired length. Careful not to crimp the end of the capillary tube. See the slight diagonal here? And that the tube is not crimped. Now we reinsert the flow restrictor and measure the wastewater. I got approximately 910 milliliters. Now to calculate the ratio, we take the wastewater in milliliters of 910 and divide it by the product water in milliliters of 240 and that gives us a ratio of 3.79 to 1. That's pretty close to where we want it, so I think we're good here. You can also determine the daily production rate in gallons per day by multiplying the product water times 0.38. We've got 91.2 gallons per day, so overall our numbers look good, but here's a couple tips. If your ratio ended up being lower because of insufficient flow on the waistline, continue to cut the flow restrictor down a half an inch at a time until you achieve the desired ratio. If you're also installing our flush kit, cut the restrictor to length prior to installing it.